right, we're going to do this quick and easy since the real page didn't record. Now, this is just a loose piece of paper that I did a quick background on so that I could put these pieces on and we could talk about how to get something underneath one that's already there. So I found this title and I really liked it and I got excited and I slapped it on my page before I put in my images that I wanted underneath the title. Oops. So it works really easily when you're dealing with a smooth edge. You simply put it on there, take a pencil, mark where the edge is, and cut it off. It's going to look like it's going underneath the other one when you put it on. Quick and easy, just like that. Okay? Let me put that one on real fast. And I want to tear this bottom edge because we're going to talk about these rough edges, which are harder. Well, you can't hear me with that in my mouth. We're going to talk about these rough edges, which are harder. So. No, this is not a page I will be keeping forever and ever. Okay. Easy squeezy. Looks like it's under there. No problem. And we'll add shadows in a minute, which will help to enhance that effect. How about that? Kids has TV on. Okay, now, this one's a little harder because we want to have this one look like it's coming underneath that one and there's no raised edge there for me to find it. So I'm going to take a piece of scratch paper first to help me find that edge and it can be a piece of magazine but I prefer a piece of white paper. Okay. You can hold it up to a light and well that's going to blind you but I'll try. You can see the edge through it and then trace it, which might work directly on this image too. There. So if you've got a light box or a window that you can put it on, that's all you have to do. And then you're going to take your same pen or pe a pencil and you're going to go right along that edge, rough as it is, and draw it on there. Okay? And then we're going to cut it out. Let me turn that up so it doesn't blind you anymore. That's my handy dandy lighting for my video. The other unit I was using didn't work really well. Okay, I'm going to fast forward while I cut through this. Now I've got my rough edge cut off. And when I put it on here, it's not quite perfect, so I just move it up a little bit. And nobody is going to know that this image is actually on top of the other. It's going to look like it's behind it because that image is visible. So we'll go in and we'll put in our gel. Just like that. The image is visible. Once our gel is dry, we can take watered down um, ink, acrylic ink, which I use in a water, a water brush like this. And we run along that bottom edge to give it a shadow. And I like to grab it and pull it down and darker up towards the top and the same here we're going to run along that bottom edge and when you go over that magazine page smudge immediately because over your acrylic paint it's going to have a little bit of time but right over that magazine page it's going to absorb it immediately and then it looks like one is on top of the other easy promised easy there's easy for you and then when you see my real page um, it was easy too and again I'm so sorry that it didn't record on the video have a great day guys bye